Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about Dogecoin. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So today we're going to be talking about Dogecoin. Should you invest in Dogecoin currently sitting at 41 cents and what a journey it's actually been for Dogecoin. I mean, obviously this thing has been getting a lot of hype lately. A lot of people are talking about Dogecoin and with all due, I mean, this thing has rallied so much over the last year alone. So if we take a look at the one year chart, it's up 20,000%. So to even put in prospect that if someone had invested maybe a thousand dollars or even $2,000, they probably made a lot of money off of this. And a lot of people are starting to wonder, you know, what Dogecoin was started, you know, a while back along when Bitcoin first kind of started to, you know, gain some traction. A lot of other cryptos gained some traction, stuff like that. And a lot of people, the biggest question is, is Dogecoin worth the investment or is Dogecoin still just a meme? Now, I know Dogecoin was just started as a meme, but there's nothing to really say that, you know, Dogecoin in itself right now is not really a good investment just due to the fact that the, the overall crypto in itself has continuously continued to push upward. A lot of it has to do with Elon Musk kind of pumping it up as well. I think him and his tweets really do push the price upward. So in this video... I'm going to be talking about do I think you should invest in Dogecoin and where do I think Dogecoin is actually going to be headed over the next year. Obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. So let's really dive in and let's talk about Dogecoin. So like I said, Dogecoin is a cryptocurrency, right? First kind of started out as a meme, but right now its market cap is currently sitting around $50 billion, if not at $50 billion which is kind of a lot for a crypto that was, you know, kind of originally made as a joke. A lot of people kind of indicating, okay, you know, like Dogecoin is going to the moon, you know, like Dogecoin's hitting 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, you know, like it's getting a lot of hype now. And a lot of people are starting to sink money into Dogecoin. Could Dogecoin actually be something more than a meme in itself? I mean, a lot of people, like I said, you know, it's really hard to kind of say what Dogecoin's overall direction is kind of going to be headed, but the, the overall results don't really lie. You know, a lot of people are pumping up Dogecoin. So let's start with where I think Dogecoin could actually be headed with the next year. So if Dogecoin actually continues to head on this traction, I could see Dogecoin actually hitting about 2 to $3 in the next year. It is possible. And the, the reason I say this is because, like I said, you know, at first people didn't really kind of believe in Dogecoin in itself. People kind of just made fun of it. You know, like I said, if we go back to the one year chart, this thing was trading at like less than a penny, you know, but in this year alone, you know, over the course of a year from March to March or April to April, like I said, up 20,000%, it's not really something that you could actually kind of take away, you know, and it's, you know, crypto over the last year as well has also gained a lot of traction. So aside from Papa Elon and himself, you know, the great Elon Musk pumping up Dogecoin, he posted a tweet that basically said Doge is barking at the moon, which did cause the overall crypto to kind of spiral upward. A lot of it also has to do with Bitcoin gaining a lot of traction. Now, how is Bitcoin related to Dogecoin? Well, Bitcoin is the biggest cryptocurrency. So a lot of the cryptos tend to follow the trend of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin generally does well, you have Litecoin, uh, altcoin bitcoin cash you uh ethereum and all these other types of cryptos generally do well when bitcoin is also doing well i think bitcoin kind of hitting that all-time high now bitcoin currently sitting around sixty thousand dollars has put dogecoin kind of more in the limelight where people are getting more into crypto investing and the great thing about dogecoin is aside from it right now even currently sitting right now you know, Dogecoin is still pretty cheap compared to other cryptos, right? Bitcoin 60K. Last time I checked, Bitcoin Cash was around 1,000. Ethereum is also pretty, not super expensive, but it's still up there. Litecoin as well. So when people look at Dogecoin, it's super, super cheap and it's very investor friendly. So a lot of people are like, you know, I'll stick some money in it for fun. But how realistic is it for Dogecoin being able to go to 2 to $3? Well, with all the hype that, you know, a lot of crypto has been getting over the last year, and the fact that Dogecoin is up 20,000% 20, year to date, it's not unlikely for Dogecoin to continue hitting all-time highs. And it's not unlikely for Dogecoin to hit a couple of bucks in the next couple of months or even in the next year. It could honestly hit it sooner than that. No one could really know. The thing about crypto is it's very volatile and it goes up and down a lot. It fluctuates. So if we take a look at the one week, I mean, you guys can see the fluctuations. You know, here on the 16th of April, we hit an all-time high, 42 cents, kind of trickled back down and then back up again, currently sitting at pretty close to its all-time high. 
And then they say that on April 20th, it's supposed to be like this big Dogecoin day, which is probably going to help the overall crypto skyrocket as well. So people are asking, should you invest in Dogecoin? For me, I think, you know, why not, you know, throw some, a little bit of money in Dogecoin, but I do want people to tread cautiously when investing in any cryptocurrency. It's not like I'm against cryptocurrency. I also do have a little bit of cryptocurrency invested, but people do have to be aware that cryptocurrency is very volatile and it is a lot more volatile than your regular stocks, right? So this thing can fluctuate, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, even hundreds of percent in a single day without even blinking an eyelid. And people may argue, okay, that stocks do that all the time. But with stocks, it's not out of random. It usually has very good news. You know, we saw over the weekend that Bitcoin crashed like $7,000 for absolutely no reason. And so people have to be aware that if you're investing in crypto, you have to be aware that they're a little bit more volatile than what generally other cryptos are all about. But for me, like I said, I do think that Dogecoin can hit two to three dollars. Market cap currently sitting around 50 billion. You know, it's getting a lot of traction. People are starting to get more into crypto investing. People are now putting more money into Dogecoin, which is honestly looking overall good for the overall crypto. Now, like I said, aside that, make sure you trade cautiously before investing into Dogecoin. But a lot of people may ask, you know, so like, you know, what is Dogecoin? You know, like, is it like Bitcoin? I don't, so Dogecoin and Bitcoin are not the same thing, right? So people don't understand that like, you know, when it comes to overall crypto, it, they all serve on different streams, but they're all used in kind of the same aspect. I know that's kind of confusing, but when you look at it on paper, Bitcoin is basically, you know, stuff you can kind of use like PayPal's adopting it and stuff like that. You can actually pay, like there's NFL players who are getting paid with it. You can now buy you know, a Tesla Model X or S with a full on Bitcoin. I don't think you're able to do that with Dogecoin, but Dogecoin is now becoming hotter than Bitcoin, which is why it may actually be worth the investment and which actually could pay off in the long run as well. Now, I'm not advocating an overall investment. And I, like I said, everyone should do their own due diligence when investing in Dogecoin. I have about a thousand Doge I bought for fun when it was like 0.2 of a cent. You know, I haven't been buying uh, Dogecoin lately, but that does not mean that I'm not going to be adding to my position here very soon because like I said, people are saying in the year of 2021 and 2022 that Dogecoin in itself could be hotter than Bitcoin. So I definitely do see a lot of upside potential. People are even saying that Dogecoin can hit $10. Is this a possibility? Well, in this day of age, anything is a possibility. I mean, like I said, guys, look at the one-year chart. Look at the five-year chart up 207,000%. If I had told someone that five years ago, they probably would have laughed at you. So people should always be wary when it comes to overall Dogecoin that anything is possible with this crypto. Anything is possible with Dogecoin. I do think that Dogecoin, if it continues on the same kind of traction, it does have the possibility to hit $10. I do think that it could possibly go higher if it starts adapting more to itself and more like not livelihoods, but more use kind of like Bitcoin. Dogecoin could actually be a pretty big crypto. And like I said, sitting at a market cap of 50 billion, that is not something to gawk at. That's a pretty big market cap. The reason why Bitcoin trades or Dogecoin trades a little bit lower than other cryptos is because there's a lot more coins on the market, which people may ask, how come Dogecoin is not as more valuable as you know Bitcoin? Dogecoin has a couple billion on the market, if I'm not mistaken, while Bitcoin only has about a million or so. So th this also does put into perspective, but Dogecoin nonetheless could be a pretty big investment overall. With that being said, guys, that's all I really have to say about the video. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you think of Dogecoin. Are you guys invested in Dogecoin? If you guys are invested in Dogecoin, how many Dogecoins do you guys own? And what's your average? I'm always very curious to know. What is your price prediction on Dogecoin? Do you guys think Dogecoin can hit $10? I'm very curious to hear your thoughts. With that being said, guys, thank you. Have a great day.